Yo, what's going on guys? NIEK Mick George series here from the NIEK Racing League. It's season one, race 22 out of 24, the Granger 300 coming to you from Charlotte. And we're getting closer to Homestead. Now is the time. It's crunch time to uh, get your points on the board and book a place in Homestead to fight for the title. Best of luck to every driver out there today. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. And yeah, just getting some races done before the season finales, which will be happening tonight. And then finally, we'll have, we're just going to get all the races done for that. And then sign up for season three of tomorrow. I'm excited for season three. I hope you are all as well. So then, season one of the Mick George series coming to an end. It's been a good one, but next year's going to be even better for season two of the Mick George series, season three of NIUK as a whole. Currently at the top of the points series standings, we have Dash Baran and Mike McCormick tied. Anthony Chaubois, two points behind them, and then six points behind them, Michael Canzo. So it's all very close in the Mick George series. It could go either way. Just got to be there the right place at the right time to hopefully book your place in Homestead. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here today. Who is going to go to Homestead? It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun to see who comes out with the race win. Of course, two more races to go. We've got this one. Then we head to Rockingham in the US before finally rounding off the action at Homestead in what should be pretty darn good pretty darn good F couple of races best of luck to everyone competing in the Mick George series today um, I'm sure it's going to be a resounding success and I'm looking forward so much to season number two of this next in a few days Let's get into your starting lineup. Of the pole, then, is the 98 of Wesley Nye. Then we have the 9 of Trey Wright. Next up is TJ Smith and Luke Rainey. Then we have Al Agassi. He could still make it to Homestead if the results go the right way for him. And Riley Spurley Tube, last time winner out. Then we have Benjamin Rice and Roger Ray. Both the Lions, Landon Lions and Anna Lions. On the next row, we have Jason Clay and Kaylee Brand who once again looks to be out of this chase picture. Next up, Nathan Stapleton and Sebastian Kuklon. Follow up by Michael Ganto, who's right in the thick of it for the title. To the inside of him, Mathis Wells, who could, with a miracle, make it to Homestead. Behind them, Tyler Reynolds and Tony Newman. Then we have Carter Friesen and William Bulin. On the next row, Ryan Dalton, who again, his shot at Homestead, very, very slim. To his outside, the 93 of John Robinson Jr. Then we have the 16 of Derek Hamill. The 60 of Peter on Jack. Then we have the 44 of Derek Bouchard. The 52 of Brady Burkhart, who again needs a miracle to get to Homestead, really, from here. Next up, Joe Rutkowski and Colton Yo, who is in and amongst the mix for the title. On the next row, Co Luigi and points leader, joint points leader, Dash Baran. Then we have Eli Bright and Anthony Charbois who currently places third. On the next row, Tib Foster and Sam Picard. Then we have Jeff Bright and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Next up, Mark Owens and Tyler Bradley, followed by Larry Bouchard and LOI. On the final row, Mike McCormick, who again is joint first for the lead, and Brandon Morris. So there we go then. 42 cars have a big opportunity to win the race today at Charlotte. Who's going to come out on top with the victory we're going to find out who's going to get a crucial 12 points towards their Mick George Series trophy. Wesley Nye and Trey Wright lead them on the front row. And we are getting ever so close to Homestead. The finale tonight. Hopefully you can all join us and tune in for that. But so far we have to settle what is going to happen. In season number one, the Mick George series. It's Wesley Nye and Trey Wright on the front row. Green flag is out. We're racing at Charlotte.
through turns one and two they go then wesley nile leads off of turn number one down the back stretch they will race and into turns three and four they go wesley nile leads out front in the 98 car And he will lead lap number one here at the Granger 300. Through the turn they will race then. Off of the turn they will go. Down the back stretch. Wesley Nye leads. TJ Smith in two second. And through the turn they will go. Oh and Eli Bright has an issue. He's already way off the pace here. Lap car alert early on. This could get dicey. Which way does Bright go? He goes up high and a problem on the 88 early. Sees him way off the pace. It's going to slow down a lot of drivers here. Especially that high lane. The inside. The place where you want to be for now. Oh my god. This freaking stream software is a bunch of arse. Literally, I've I updated it and the quality gets worse. Work that one out. Work that one out. Wesley Nye then leads this lap. He's dominated, led every single one of the way so far. Towards the inside though, Landon Lyons and Kayleigh Brown, two chasers who probably have left it too little too late. They want to make a resulting impact though and maybe get the win here today. Landon Lyons towards the freed at Charlotte. He leads up front. Landon Lyons, the first to lead. Apart from Wesley Nice Day. Hey Derek, welcome back to the stream. It's really laggy, and I don't get it what's wrong with Windows 10. I'm running up low. Like, don't even have that many applications open. I've got my broadcasted software, Google Chrome and NR2003 are open, and for some reason it lags. Brilliant. Homestead scheme's almost finished. Nice. Stapleton out in front, and he leads. Now, here comes Mathis Wells, whose only shot of getting to Homestead would be a win, and if other results go his way, Wells desperately needs the full 12 points today. It's so laggy, man. I don't get it. Fuck's sake. Towards the inside, Tyler Reynolds goes out in front. Jesus Christ, voice break. Now, here they come towards the inside. It's Reynolds with a help from Ryan Dalton. Now, Dalton probably will not make it to Homestead, but a win. Maybe. Maybe just puts him in with a slight shout. Of course, it wouldn't be a very good claim because the 99 is way off the points lead. However, he needs a win to just maybe, maybe perform a miracle and get towards the final race of the season. He's helped from Peter on Jack. Dalton now drops low and here he comes towards the front. Ryan Dalton in the 99. Here he goes. Not even halfway through this race yet. Actually, I should practice this because this is what I'm supposed to be doing for next season. Here comes Derek Bouchard now. The next towards the inside lane. The 44. Out in the lead. Derek Bouchard now leads. Here comes Code Luigi in the 42 to the inside though. Pushes. From Tib Foster and Joe Rutkowski. Jeff Bright is on the inside lane as well. Code Luigi leads. Now the 42. Tib Foster will make the move. Here comes Rutkowski maybe looking to make a big bold move to the lead. Here comes the 15. Joe Rutkowski coming close towards the front right now. Can he make the move down to the inside lane on the back stretch? The 15 car. Ford Mustang looking to go towards the front. 
does not work this time. Co Luigi retains his lead for now. 42 has been pretty dominant in these early stages. And not a lot of chasers towards the front right now. They're all kind of hanging out back. Not the days that they wanted. Jeff Bright is going to go towards the lead here at Charlotte. Pushed by Mark Owens and Larry Bouchard. And a Lions is there. As well. Through the turn. Mark Owens now goes out front. So the lead chopping and changing like a yo-yo here. It's now going to be Bouchard's turn. Larry Bouchard. They're all just giving each other a turn in the front right now. They're swapping. They're shuffling quite a lot here. So once again, it's going to come down to who can time their move right and to perfection. Here at Charlotte. It's just one of those races. Now it's Anna Lyons towards the inside. We've pushed from William Boonen and Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in the 80. Bulin now pulls alongside the 91. William Bulin towards the front here. Bulin's going to lead a lap. Fitzwater, Kukulon and others are pushing hard on the inside. Bulin now will have a clear view out front. Fitzwater, Kukulon have got clear from the rest of that high line. Out in front, the 80. Now towards the lead, Zachary Fitzwater Senior got his first win. Now his lead will not last long though. Landon Lyons, a chaser, out in front. It's Landon Lyons out in front. Here comes Tyler Bradley towards the inside. We'll push from Derek Hamill. One of your chasers, Anthony Chabois, now coming towards the front. As well as Colton Yo and Dash Baran. Towards the inside, Tyler Bradley in the 23. Of course, Tyler racing for the cup right now. He, however, he would love to get a win at Charlotte. There's the pace car. That's not what you wanted to see. But here comes Derek Hamill towards the front. 16 to the lead at Charlotte. That's Derek Hamill. However, here comes the 20, the 11 even, of Anthony Chalpois. One of your drivers fighting hard for a title. Towards the front. What a big win this would be. Colton Yo towards the inside. There's Dash Brand, your points leader, looking for another 12 points. Four to go now at Charlotte. Towards the inside, Brandon Morris in the 51. Colton Yo is there. Dash Baran is there. Colton Yo towards the inside lane in the four. Chaser towards the front. He needs a win. Can he get it today at Charlotte with two to go? With three to go. Dash Baran towards the front. Points leader in the two. What a, big, what a big few points this would be. It'll be a huge leap towards the title. Brady Burkhart though looking to put a spoil to that party. Here comes the 52. It's Brady Burkhart. Baran leads the lap. Burkhart to the lead with two to go at Charlotte. The 88, Eli Bright. Remember, he is a lap down. Will he be a factor? I guess he will. Does the 88 pull low? Here comes Michael Canto with a run in the 55. Canto with a win. We'll put him near the top of the standings. But it's Brady Burkhart who leads out in front in the 52 right now. 
White flag for Brady Burkhart, but the lap car of Eli Bright is going to throw it towards the inside lane. Eli Bright could be a huge factor here. Here comes Michael Canto in the 55. Michael Canto. Sorry, I don't know. I must. I, I mucked it. I mucked it up here. He is through to the lead. Michael Canto. What a win this will be. Michael Canto wins at Charlotte. What a win for Michael Canto. That was a fail finish. Sorry there. I completely mucked up on the camera. And the change in between the drivers there. But what a huge win for Michael Canto that is. That is massive. Huge step towards the title for him. I'm so sorry. I mucked up massively there on the cameras. But Michael Canto has come out with a win here. And a big step towards the title for him. Oh god. That was a massive fail. Sorry guys for that. <coughs> Moment this in Chrome then. Fuck off Windows Media Player. Yeah, cool. Gonna go open with Google Chrome and let's get the point standings done. So, Michael Canto, a big 12 points towards his claim for the title. Second, Brady Burkhart, he gets 11. It's a good haul, it's a good day, a good haul for the 52. He might just be in and amongst it. 10 points to Mathis Wells. Wells, again, probably needed the maximum 12 today. It just wasn't to be for him. 9 points to Kaylee Buran. There, 8 points are going to go towards the leader, Dash Buran, who again had a solid day at the office. That's just what you need, consistency. He's going to be out front for now. Colton Yo is going to get 7 points. Maybe too little too late for Colton at this point during the season. Six points are going to go towards the 11 of Anthony Sharp. While that's not what he really was looking for, it might be enough to keep him in with a mix, but could have asked for better today. Five points go to Ryan Dalton in the 99. Dalton now is too little too late for him. He will not be competing for a title. Four points will go towards the 14 land and Lions. It's not been Lions' chase at all. Once again, that proves today. Three points will go towards the... God, man, I'm going to have to go down here. Our legacy. Not what he wanted at all. Two points go towards... Luke Rainey, and even worse, points leader, joint points leader at the start of the day, Mike McCormick has a shocker. He's going to be quite the way, the way down in the standings. That's what it looks like then. Dash Bran, a two point advantage over Michael Canso. Do not rule Antonin Charbois out right now. He is still at every chance. You're looking at that bottom five, probably won't make it. The others still have a good shot. Here are the final race standings, by the way. I forgot to show them to everyone. So here they are. Uh, thank you, Fortune. Thank you for Derek for saying it. Okay. I'm cool. That's cool. Scheme can come. That's right, Derek. Um, thank you for watching. We'll be back for the Cup Series race here in a second. Bye-bye.